sponsor or visit discovery.coza. Have you ever dreamt about taking your business to the next level, but you've got not the foggiest idea how to do it? This is tonight. I'm Bruce Whitfield, and tonight I'm joined by not one, not two, but three entrepreneurs from the Entrepreneurs Organization who took their businesses from zero, I'm sure it was never zero, but certainly to hero status, and they're involved in the launch of the Accelerator program. Joining me this evening is Adi Zuk, who's Chief Executive of JAG Method, Irfan Pardesi, co-founder of ACM Gold, and Yossi Hassan, co-founder and Chief Executive of Science. Uh, you're part of this organization. You've got this accelerator going on. Uh, and just give me a, a sense of it, Yossi, as to what the accelerator can do. Accelerator is for businesses from 2 million to 10 million rand in turnover who are looking to get to that 10 million rand mark in the next three years. And it's really a series of interventions that's done by the entrepreneurs for their businesses. One is every quarter we have a full day workshop that looks at sales, marketing, finance, HR, and strategy. You get a mentor from EO, that's a, that's a person who's taken a business beyond 10 million rand, and you get a mentor who you meet with once a month. And on top of that, you get what you call an accountability group. Eight other peers who are in the same situation with, as you are, that you meet with once a month to discuss different areas of your business, and they help you grow your business as well. I've not ever been to a meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous, but it feels <laughs> a bit like that, Adi. I mean, is, is, it, is it like that? Uh, to have not been to um, Alcoholics Anonymous. You, 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 um, you know, at the EO forum, that's a group of us that get together, um, has changed my business, changed my personal life amazingly. Um, Irfan's actually in my forum, and it really just challenges you on every level of your life and, and helps you with business strategy, helps you increase your revenue, helps you decrease profit just through sharing experiences. Hopefully you increase, not decrease profit, because you, you don't want to be decreasing <laughs> profit. You don't want to be decreasing profit. Otherwise, if I, you need to do your job better. Need to talk afterwards, I think. Um, so you're all over 10 million rand in turnover. So you're all mentors. Um, you, you all look after each other, um, and, and that's an interesting relationship. How tough is it, though, to be sort of coaching a peer, Edwin? Um, Bruce, it's it's actually it's it's more than coaching. Um, you know, it's it's an environment where you start really feeling safe um, with your peers because now you understand that there's people who understand your problems. You know, I mean, people around your life on a, on a day-to-day -day basis don't necessarily understand, you know, when you're whining about, you know, your business issues, you know, because they come probably perhaps from a different environment. And, and that environment could help you in other parts of, the, of your life, but not necessarily business. And, you know, what's interesting to understand is EO is, it's not, it's a member-led organization. It's, you know, everybody sitting here around the table and everybody sitting in EO is, is volunteering. You know, we don't, we're going out of our way just to ensure that, you know, people get the opportunity, you know, to, to come up somehow. But you're somewhere. doing it because other people did it for you. That's correct. Sometimes your business partner, sometimes it could be your spouse, sometimes uh, it's your employees. And who can you speak to in each one of those situations? So you've got a space where you can have that conversation uh, regardless of what the problem is, and you've got eight peers who've been there before. Yeah, it's interesting, though, because in, so in so many businesses, especially startups, um, you start up and you might have one or two like-minded people, and suddenly the business grows to 20 or 30 people, and now you've got people actually working for you, doing the dog work that you used to do, or doing new functions that never existed when you first bought the business. You don't have much in common. Suddenly, you're the boss. And that can be, as Yossi said, a lonely place to be. Very lonely. And, and so how do you cope with that? I mean, is, 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 you find a bit of in the middle of the night and <laughs> in front of his mind. And you know, the nice thing about EO is there's a specific structure, a specific agenda to it's each of the meetings. It's actually, more than Alcoholics Anonymous. I suppose, uh, <laughs> in a way. Um, but it really helps you, you know, dedicate that time to resolve. Look, it's again, you know, you have to, you have to think that it's it's actually it's it's covering all, the overall life that you that you have. You know, most companies have a board, okay, and and you have five or six people challenging you. What about your personal life? Isn't that the most important thing? Why are we working? I mean, the work is supposed to provide for your life, not the other way around. And now you have a personal life board of six people sitting around the table challenging you once a month. And that really changes you. So what kind of questions come up? It's personal, it's spiritual, it's emotional. And you end up sharing 5% of your life that you wouldn't share with anybody else. And Bruce, it's amazing. I mean, yes, the qualification criteria is 10 million rands, but you'll see some crazy business. I mean, I'm running a 4 billion rand organization right now, and I'm still part of EO. So it's still providing me value, let alone 10 million or 4 billion. It doesn't matter. 
Does it matter that it provides you value, though? I mean, because there's also the sense, though, that we've got uh, a, a crisis in South Africa of a lack of entrepreneurship. There are people, and maybe the real support needs to go from zero to 100,000 sure. first. Sure. But I mean, that's, that's a task. We've got a small business minister to do that. Absolutely. Good luck to her. Um, <laughs> um, but but this, is the, this is the growth engine. This is the part of the economy. If we've got a chance of succeeding in South Africa over the next decade or two, it's businesses of two million and above that will employ people, that will create the opportunities, that will grow the next generation of entrepreneurs. That's, I mean, you're, you're, you hit the nail on the head. I don't even need to add anything on top of that, you know. It's, I mean, that's, that, type, that is the, the area where somebody has sort of proven himself. I mean, we're not trying to say that anybody who's under, under 2 million hasn't proven himself. It's just that you have to draw the line somewhere, you know. Um, you have to provide value to people who have kind of exceeded. They've shown they have the commitment, and now they want to take the next step. And even the best, even the world champions in soccer and world champions in boxing, I mean, they are the world champions, but they haven't gotten there without a mentor. Yeah. You know, and these people intervening in your life, showing you a different aspect of your life and getting your priorities right. It's not priorities right. You know, not everybody wants or me measures success the same way. It would be tragic to hit 40 and have no friends left. Because, you, uh, and sort of, you, your family members don't recognize you because you haven't been to visit your mother on her birthday or Mother's Day for the last five years. Because, hey, you're just a kind of a little bit too you busy. You ask who are you when you come home. <laughs> yeah, I know that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got bitten by my dog there. No, that's so good. <laughs> but those stories are legend, aren't they? You get so excited about creating something brand new. You get so caught up in it. It can't possibly survive without you. Yet you have to be equipped with the, the power to say no or step back, whatever the case is, and it comes through this, this group mentorship uh, approach. How does the accelerator amplify business success? Two million rand above, you kind of know what you're doing. You're making mistakes. You sure. don't have a proper structure. You're, you're flying by the seat of your pants, probably. How are you going to help these guys to participate? So it's a great question, and, and I think the thing about entrepreneurship is that when you're at a two million rand business, it's probably the biggest business you've ever run. Mm -hmm. When you're at a three million rand business, yeah. It's 50% bigger. bigger. So you're always learning by doing. Mm -hmm. And what, what something like an accelerator program helps with is that you now have a group of individuals who've walked that path before. They haven't walked that path 10, 15 years ago. They've walked it two years ago. So they have the perspective that you have right now. And they've walked that, that line and they've seen what they did wrong. And being able to tap into that will short circuit the amount of mistakes that you'll make, the frustration that you'll have in your business, and help you build a better business as well as have less frustration in your life. because. Uh, like you said, you, you're going to spend these days and nights where you, you go home and uh, your wife doesn't know who you are, uh, your kids don't know who you are. Uh, it gives you that kind of perspective about what's important, these are the things that you can do, these are the options that are ahead of you, and you have a group of peers that will hold you accountable to what you say you're going to do. Uh, and if I had that in my business when we were growing the yeah. company, it would have really um, springboarded the growth of our business as well as short-circuited a lot of the challenges that I would have had and frustrations that we didn't have to learn the hard way. And it's about helping people. Just as a get. Now, you've got six people telling you how to manage your life. Yep, yep, you're across. You haven't had a holiday in 200 days. You've not had a weekend. Um, you, you're, you're at the end of your tether, and you've got six people telling you to, to jack yourself up. You know they're right, but you're not going to take it from anybody. Um, does it get testy to that sort of point? Um, it definitely gets challenging, but the whole point of EO is not to give advice. It's all about experience shares, and that's the point of Accelerator, is to share your experiences with people that are growing their business mm -hmm. to that level. Um, advice is looked down upon because you don't want to go around telling people what to do, you want people to learn. So what, what's, the, what's the difference there? Well, there's a massive difference. Imagine, yeah. well, see, sitting, sense of the approach, so sitting, right? sitting, I can't say to you, I think this is right for you. In my opinion, this is right for you. Because all of a sudden, your subconscious mind is telling you, this guy is judging me. And you don't want to share further. All I can say to you, if I have a similar experience that I've had in my life, irrespective of what aspect of my life, all I can do is, Bruce, this is what I, happened to me in my life. I mean, I have, I have a personal belief, you know, that you're always going to be an average of five people you spend the most time with, you know, always, irrespective. And, and if you want to take your life to a certain level, just find those five people who are living that yeah. life and just spend, start spending time with them. Imagine going out in the world and finding those five people. EO has done that for you with 10,000 people across the world. The EO is not a South African organization alone, right? It's a global organization. How much, how much global interaction is there? Then? I mean, it's all well and good to be sitting in this environment, but you may have a business that has got global potential. All well and good to sit in the, the, the fish, in the little fish tank. Uh, there's a swimming pool up there. Well, just last night, I had dinner with a lady from Toronto who was here 
um, doing a talk and she reached out to the EO base and said, does anyone want to go for dinner? Uh, and had a fascin fascinating dinner with her and learned a lot about uh, her business and the Toronto market. Uh, next month I'll be in New York at uh, an event called the New York University for EO. So there's, every day uh, there's almost an event happening around the world and you could really be spending every single day of the year going to different chapters and that doing different events. That might defeat the purpose. <laughs> which, which would. <laughs> then you become a in some other part of the world, I mean, you go to Dubai tomorrow and every single person around here, or most people around here are South Africans, but when you see a South African in Dubai, you're like, hey, you're from South Africa, me too, and all of a sudden you have this connection. Yeah. Now you have a common base of EO, and it works. I mean, we, my business is based in 17 countries, and every single time I've been to those businesses or been, been to those countries, my approach for the last two years since I've been part of EO has been... EO members, I'm here, and it's amazing how many free dinners I get. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, and how many you have to buy when they come here, but they probably come here less. It's, it's like the old concept of, I suppose, the Gentleman's Club 50, 60 years ago. The Rand Club was that kind of environment. We've kind of evolved beyond that, and you've got like-minded people who get together, who help each other out. How do people get onto the program? So we go to um, www.eoafrica. Uh, slash accelerator. Oh, that's long. We'll have to put it up on the screen. We, we'll, we'll, we'll tweet it and, uh, yeah. and we can do that. Give it to me again. Uh, www.eoafrica.org. Yeah. It's a um, competition uh, where one person will be selected for free to be entered into the program uh, and have one year of mentoring and the accelerator program given to them. Um, what if you become second? Uh, you have to pay. Then, then you'll need to pay. Uh, it, is, it is a paid for program. It's 22,500 Rand a year uh, and that includes everything. Uh, including the international facilitators, the workshops, and everything that goes with it. Is there an obligation to pay back, or does it just come because you get so ingrained in the culture of the place, Eddie, that you just want to give away, give back more? For me personally, um, definitely, uh, there's a giving environment. I want to pay back. I want to continue to help businesses grow and see businesses grow around me change South Africa, as you said. No, it's absolutely fabulous. Adi Zuk, who is chief executive of Jag Method. Irfan Pradesi, co-founder of ACM Gold, and Yossi Hassan, the co-founder and chief executive of Sinek. The fascinating world of the entrepreneur's organization. It's all very secretive, <laughs> secret <laughs> club-like. But boy, if you're in it, um, there's certainly a There'll be more tonight, tomorrow. Till then, good night and goodbye. Introducing the Dollar Life Plan, South Africa's first and only life policy to pay out in U.S. dollars. Talk to your financial advisor or visit discovery.coza. You enjoy watching the Rugby Sevens in Hong Kong. Your children have been accepted into university at Harvard. Your second home is in Hyde Park. London. You plan to retire on an olive farm in Tuscany. You think in global terms. Now there is a life policy that does the same. Introducing the Dollar Life Plan, South Africa's first and only life policy to pay out in US dollars. For more information, talk to your financial advisor or visit Discovery.